Okay. It's very strong. This is really extremely strong. I guess the English word for it is it throbs. This painting is the whole organism in its world. It's more than one organism. It's filled with eyes that juxtapose with one another like a tangled bank of Darwinian form. It's utterly organic. It has a passion and it has a, um, an organic form that, that I've never seen anything like in my life. Obey is being profoundly creative. He's wanting to say, visually, something that is not rational. Um, if Jung were here, the psychologist Jung, he would start talking about uh, collective memories and our early mythic structures and where they come out of the unconscious. And that may be partially true. We evolved. Therefore, we evolved, we evolved ways of being in the world that we know far more deeply than we know rationally then what does Obey's painting show us? Well, what I see, I guess I see organisms poised in a very interesting way. I see eyes looking at one another, and you do not know in the ambiguity of how they look at one another whether they may go to war with one another, just look at one another, uh, become friends, they're poised in an in-between, indeterminate state where their relationships with one another hasn't been decided. They haven't decided yet what they will be with one another. What for me this says is life lives in a place, in fact this ties to quantum mechanics, I don't think this comes out of the human mind being algorithmic and a machine. I think it comes out of the human mind being profoundly non-algorithmic, and I think it has to do with uh, what I'm calling the poised realm between the quantum world and the classical world, uh, where I'm trying to work now as a biologist learning some physics. So what does that say? It says here that Obe is... intuitively, deeply in touch with this poised realm, indeterminate state that he expresses in these forms. A number of quantum physicists, very good quantum physicists, are saying we have to give up the notion um, that reality is just the actual. And if I'm right, Obe is operating in that space between the possible and the actual that I think our brains evolved to live in. I mean, if there really is this poise realm, why wouldn't evolution have used it? And in fact, chlorophyll does. Uh, I mean, it's got a very long-lived quantum coherent state saying that life cares and it can not do that. It, it's so strange as I look at this because I see organisms and yet their forms are um, not defined. It's also ambiguous. I know, I know that I'm looking at organisms interacting with one another, or I, I feel that I am. To know says that, that uh, the cat is on the mat. Uh, that's not what's happening as I look at this. It's not what happens in us when we look at art. So it's expressing this um, 
ordered ambiguity, where the ordered ambiguity has features on all length or size scales, and Obey's painting does. So the human mind seems to like that. That is to say, we find it aesthetically deep. Nobody knows why. My own guess is some mixture of ambiguity and surprise. So he's, he's showing us things on all scales that are an expression of the ambiguity, an expression of the tension, an expression of the uh, not knowing. There's so much not knowing in this painting. As you look at the painting, you don't know what can happen. Obe painted something where you don't know what can happen. I do understand some art forms. I write poetry. And when I write poetry, when it's working, I don't design it, it happens. And I think Obe did the same thing. He didn't know it, it happened. He found it. But the, then the interesting thing is that as he found it, it invented itself in the sense that the structures that he painted showed him the next structures that the first structures made possible. I could actually live with this painting, and that surprises me very much, because it's, it's not pretty, this painting. Um, you don't look at it and feel um, comfortable. It almost irritates. It's very rich. So I want to thank you for bringing this and giving me the opportunity to respond. Um, I think I'd have liked to have known Obey very much.